The omega-3 fatty acid supplements, can they really be beneficial for cancer in our dogs and cats? Of all the different claims about the essential fatty acids, and like this is the one that I've always been most skeptical about. Essential fatty acids being beneficial for cancer. The incidence of cancer in animals, it's huge. The National Cancer Institute is saying that one out of every three dogs are going to develop cancer. And of the dogs that develop cancer, almost 50% are going to die of it. The body can't create essential fatty acids. It can only get them from food sources. There are multiple documented benefits of EFAs in veterinary medicine. Inflammatory skin disease, arthritis, heart disease, kidney disease, cognitive dysfunction, and even cancer. The benefits of EFAs, they've been studied for over 50 years. Famous researchers in the 1970s, they looked at the Greenland Eskimo diet. We're trying to figure out, here they are eating primary seal, where it's a really high in saturated fat. No other veggies, nothing else. And they had this extremely low incidence of heart disease. And what they found is they had these really high levels of the omega-3 fatty acids in their diet. And that was protective. And that's why they weren't developing heart disease. But what about cancer? Well, we know from some of the studies, people that consume the most amount of the omega-3 fatty acids, they have upwards of a 50% decreased chance of developing colon cancer. One study in particular looked at the omega-3 fatty acids found in krill oil. It found that the krill oil suppresses cell growth and induces apoptosis in human colorectal cancer cells. But now there's specific studies showing direct benefits of the omega-3 fatty acids as a form of cancer treatment. This one study is now saying that currently the omega-3 fatty acids should be considered pharmaconutrients. They're acting as receptor agonists, modulating pathways, decreasing inflammatory response. They are increasing chemotherapy efficacy, ultimately improving their survival and quality of life of cancer patients. They also make the statement that low concentrations of the omega-3 fatty acids in the mammary region that directly contributes to the development of mammary cancer saying that the omega-3 fatty acids are important for both prevention and treatment of mammary cancer. Another recent study published in 2021, it showed how DHA, the specific omega-3 fatty acid that is really beneficial for cancer, showed how it can be directly cytotoxic to the cancer cells. It found that when the cancer cells are growing in an acidic microenvironment known as acidosis, they take in too much DHA that can be directly and is directly cytotoxic to many of the cancer cells. So literally in that situation, you have these cancer cells engorging on too much essential fatty acids and it kills them. So the big question, can these essential fatty acids really be beneficial for your dog, for your cat in terms of prevention and or treatment of cancer? Looking at some of the more recent studies, the clear answer is yes. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Energy Secrets or the benefits of omega-3s for cancer and animals. I'm having a brand new webinar, omega-3 supplements for dogs and cats. Should you be using them? Should you not be using them? Plus my top natural remedies you can be using now. I'm sticking around at the end to answer your most pressing questions. And the webinar, it's free. It's happening Tuesday, January 24th at 5 p.m. Pacific. You can click the link in the box below to sign up.